Okay, welcome back to the 2700 lab. This time it's electrophilic aromatic substitution. Lots of examples here for you. Take a look at them. You probably need to know these reactions for your final exam. Still, what we're doing today, here we go. Put the goggles on. So I have my 1,4 dimethoxybenzene weighed out here. Use a powder funnel, please little top and she goes I have the alcohol the 3 methyl 2 butanol and that one goes weighed that out previously so here we go we our solvent for a reaction glacial acetic acid and that goes so now would be a good time let's get our ice bath prepared and stirring. A reaction involves adding sulfuric acid to make it go. Sulfuric acid when it's added to anything generates a lot of heat. So cooling very important. Stirring not too fast or the stir bar will just dance around. Okay and so we're ready. Sulfuric acid. Be careful with this stuff. If you get some on you, just quickly wash it off, but boy, it can hurt a little bit. So, no big deal. Carefully, in goes the sulfuric acid. Now, I've got a lot of glassware here that's got acids and stuff all over it. Let's clean it up right now. Okay, so everything's nicely rinsed. No stray acids to cause trouble. So, this time we're going to be adding our sulfuric acid slowly. Remember there's going to be a lot of heat generated here. We're looking for two or three drops a second. Get that going. Keep the stirring. There. And now we wait. In the meantime, we are going to have to do a recrystallization. So I've got one set up right here. Here's some crude product from before. I have about five grams here. And as it says, we need about five milliliters of methanol per gram of compound. So here we go. I'm just going to add the cold methanol to my solution. And whenever possible, and you're going to boil something, boil it using water. That way you're less likely to have a fire, but at the same time you can control the heat a little bit better. Remember, we're not making tea. You just need a little bit of water in your beaker. All right, our addition is now done. I'm gonna close that, carefully take that off. And we want it to restore room temperature for a while. So we're gonna take the ice bath off of there and just let that stir. So. 15, 20 minutes, let it warm up to room temperature. All will be good. Excellent. In the meantime, this is contaminated with sulfuric acid. Wash it before you hurt yourself, please. So, we've, we did our 15, 20 minutes at room temperature and now we need to cool it down again and we're going to quench. Now, Adding water to concentrated acids causes a lot of heat evolution again, so got to make sure it's nice and cold and cautiously add the quench water. 50 or 60 milliliters, a beaker is good enough to measure this quantity. And if all goes well, that will just help precipitate our product out of the acid mixture. Good. No worries. There we go. So that's done, let it cool for a bit if necessary, but that's, that seems to be just fine right there. So now it's time to filter. Setting up with your fil filtration apparatus, clamped, turn on a little bit of vacuum, once again, swirl and pour. Wait for it. And we just wait for that to go through. 
take a break. Okay, so we've got our filtration of our crude product done here. That's to wash with cold methanol. The best way to cool your methanol is take the bottom off the grad cylinder and put it in the beaker of cold water. So we have our crude solid here. I'm gonna break the vacuum, add the cold wash solvent, put the vacuum back on, and suck it dry. Let that sit for a couple of minutes. So here we are, we've been boiling away like mad, not paying any attention at all. And guess what? The methanol's been evaporating and the solid hasn't been dissolving. We have to add more methanol to get it to dissolve. So just stand by, I'll go get some more. This is the tricky part about recrystallizing. You're never really sure how much solvent you're gonna need, but if it's boiling and it ain't dissolved, you're either trying to dissolve a salt or you have to add more methanol. There, hopefully that'll do it this time. We'll keep a closer eye on it this time so the methanol doesn't evaporate away. But hopefully this will now completely dissolve and then we'll be able to cool it and get nice crystals to filter. So see how that's boiling like mad? Normally, if you had enough solvent, the solid would have dissolved by now. It's boiling, it's not dissolving. Guess what? You need more solvent.